Interesting enough, I think on the whole, people aren't aware of what actually poses a threat as opposed to what might be an imagined one. Uh, from what I've heard, the kitchen statistically poses the greatest threat to us, even though some people may believe homegrown terrorists do. For example, it's in the kitchen that you can chop off a finger. Yes, a terrorist may kidnap you and chop off your finger, but this is far more likely to happen in the kitchen. Uh, another thing that can happen in the kitchen is food poisoning. Another situation that might pose some danger every day to people is being on the roads, particularly I think here in this city. Uh, it's very common to see people getting into traffic accidents as a result of which they get injured. <clears throat> uh, you may be a driver, you may be a pedestrian. Often when people are talking about danger they talk about crime. Uh, thankfully I've never lived in a place where crime was an issue when it comes to danger. But I certainly have seen some programs from America, for example, where entire neighborhoods are no-go areas due to the threat of danger, and even the police don't go in there. Thinking outside the box, I can say that those in a state of inebriation are in greater danger than those who aren't, simply because they run a higher risk of hospitalization. For instance, in Australia at least, a significant proportion of those in hospital and between the ages of 20 and 50 are there due to alcohol-related incidents?